Hi, I'm Mr. Mahlangu. I'd like to welcome you to TV Tutorials. I'll be lecturing Electrotechnics N5 and N6. So in today's video, we'll be looking at module number one, which is DC machines. So under DC machines, we we'll look at the different types of DC machines that we have. We we'll look at the circuit diagrams that are involved and also look at the different calculations that are involved with direct current machines. So on DC machines, we've got three main types of machines according to the field winding side. We've got the series connected machine. We've got a shunt connected machine and lastly we've got the compound connected machine so we we'll look at each of these machines individually we we'll look at their circuit diagrams we we'll look at the equations that are there and also we'll look at short calculation in explaining how the machine operates so we shall start with the series connected machine Right. So basically, you would have a field winding connected in series to the armature of the machine, right, in this manner, where you have a supply voltage, which is the voltage from your supply, and obviously because there's a voltage there, you will definitely have a current, we refer to it as IL, which is the line current coming from the supply. And this resistance is then referred to as RSE, meaning that is the series resistance. And obviously, on the rotating armature, you will have a resistance RA, right? And the current that flows through the series resistance, resistance is referred to as I. SE and the current flowing through our armature is referred to as IA. So we can see that since all of these components are connected in series, basically the currents will also be equal to each other. So the first equation that we take into note is that I line is equal to ISE, which is equal to IA. Right, and the next thing that we take into note is that this is a motor, so it will get an electrical input power, which is PI is equal to VIL, and obviously we'll get a mechanical output power PO. Right, so the output power, if you have an efficiency, PO will then be equal to PI multiplied by the value of the efficiency that would be given to you. So those are the equations that are involved. But obviously as this machine operates, you will get an EMF here, a voltage, which is the EMF, and that value is then calculated according to this equation. E is equal to V, which is the supply voltage, minus IA, which is basically equal to ISE, which is equal to uh, IL multiplied by RAC, where it, this is the armature circuit resistance. So RAC can also include a lot of values. For example, RAC is inclusive of, so RAC is inclusive of RSE plus RA plus should there be brushes, uh, brush information in the machine, then you will have your R brush, right? So next we shall take an example on a simple a series connected machine and we do the necessary calculations involved in that.